Hello, my name is Ricky and today I'm doing a video on how to create a name tag in Fusion 360. First off, go up here, create new design. Second, create sketch. We'll go with a flat plane by selecting this plane here. I find a name tag about 50 mil by 150 seems to work pretty well every time. So text, 50 down, 150 across, done. Now today we'll be making a name tag for Seb. I like to use the font Lemon. I find it gives me the least errors. I got it for free from Google Fonts, but you'll find some fonts when you try to use them will create errors when you're extruding, uh, trying to offset. So I normally just stick to Lemon myself, but you might be able to find something that works for you. I've gone with a height of 18 mil, which seems to have fit this box fairly nicely. We'll align center, align middle, and OK. And finish sketch. Next, we're going to have to extrude it. So we've got to extrude up the top here. We can click that or we can press E. So press E, extrude. We're going to go five millimeters and by inputting five into here and press enter. Now we'll flip around to the bottom. Go up here to create sketch again and select the S. Now we're going to have to project the other two letters. So go up here, we can go create, project, project, or we can just press P. Select the other two letters. We don't have to select the S because we've already done that when we created the sketch. Press enter. Now we're going to have to create an outline around it by offsetting. So you can either click offset up the top here or you can just press O. So we'll press O, select the outline and we'll go with two millimeters. O, two mil, O, two mil. Now, since we're gonna be 3D printing this, we've gotta look for little defects that could cause problems. So this right here, while 3D printing it, will be fine. But for a name tag, it looks like something that things could get caught on. So we'll just go up here, go line, and run ourselves a line across there. And this bit here might cause problems as well. So we'll just go from here to here, and that should look fine. Now a name tag is useless if we've got nowhere to connect it to. So we'll go up top here, create, circle, two point circle, from about here would look good. Eight millimeters seems to work great. We'll offset the outline again by pressing O or up the top here. Select it, two mil, done. And finish sketch. So now we'll flip to the top. And now we're just gonna go through and extrude everything. So while you're extruding, you want to look for little bits that you might miss. So make sure we click that. So we'll go through and select everything we need to select. Now we want to make that about three millimeters. But since we did the project from the bottom side, if we go three mil, it's going to shoot three mil the other way. But if we do minus three, that'll look perfect. Press enter. And there we go. We have ourselves a name tag. Go over here to bodies. Drop that down. We've got our body here. Right click. Save as mesh. Now you can either just save it straight as an STL and then input into your slicer later, or you can actually send it straight to your slicer if you have it all set up. So I've got mine set up there for Super Slicer. I press OK. And it sends it to my slicer. Now we're going to be adding a color change on this. So we'll go to our GQ, uh, G code Puree view. I like to select about two layers up for my color change I see it seems to work the best look the best for me I find that when I'm going for too close to that top layer it can cause defects so we've got two layers up add an m600 command 
slice, send to our printer, and off we go. And that's it. Done. Thank you.